one of the first things I've, ever, I've always wanted to do was to ensure that I could interface with people on the street, people who needed help at the entry level of society, people who may not have all the money in the world. It, it made sense of legal practice, it made me uh, more more confident in the desire to want to enter practice because I saw a real opportunity to help and assist people with that need. We also offer our legal services at very competitive uh, rates uh, but we couple that with service at a level which uh, ensures that our customers are, are, are confident and they feel uh, relaxed in knowing that they have someone who's going to watch their back, they have someone who's going to handle their issues for them without them breaking the bank. My staff are the most important thing that I have in this firm. Uh, just like Singapore being a small island, being a small nation, our manpower is our greatest resource. And in my firm, my manpower is my greatest resource. I rely on my staff. They support me and I support them. Uh, they make coming to work fun. They make coming to work bearable sometimes. Uh, and they are the ones that keep me going, especially when I'm down, especially when we have multiple files, the headaches come, the files pile up. Um, nothing beats suddenly breaking out into a, a, a coffee session in the middle of the office just to break the, the seriousness of dealing with work. And having a team that can do that for you, having a team that can come back and say, look, do you need help? Uh, let's clear this together, then we can reassign duties. Uh, what's more important is we get through things. Having a team that can help you deal with that is something that you can't buy with money and it's fantastic because I'm quite sure uh, most of my team give me that on a daily basis. Everyone here gets treated as an equal. It doesn't matter what kind of qualifications you have or who you are exactly in the firm, but Raman treats us equally. In this time that I've been working under his wing, I've been Quite a bit of experience and you know him as a leader he lets us shine in our own ways you know he won't interfere in every single step of the way whereby he lets us run by ourselves instead of just holding our hands and you know guiding us every single step whereby we won't learn anything at the end of the day i think when you work with mr raman you you are assured that you know you'll be guided in the sense that uh, you're not left on your own I think as with any business, building relationships are very important. Uh, I always hold on to the mantra that uh, if you don't take care of your customers, somebody else will. So I always want to be there, I want to be the first choice for my clients when they need someone to take care of their legal needs. And so uh, I think it's very important to build that long-term relationship with them. Here, solicitor and client relationship, it's more than just that formal relationship. I think we try to make them a friend, someone who, you know, we have, when we have events, we invite them over, let them feel at home and let them feel like, you know, you have family doctors, so let them feel like there's a family lawyer around as well. When clients come to us, they actually need us to solve their problems. So when, when we get to actually provide whatever they need, it's actually a satisfaction for us seeing them being happy. Um, I would say that the best part about legal practice so far is how it's rewarding and the rewards come immediately. For example, when I go to court and I settle a case for a client who has problems within his family, just that pat on the back, that shake hand and that thank you is fantastic, it's amazing. Uh, sometimes we even forget that the bills are not paid but the, the reality is getting that problem solved for that client, that person that you have been talking to for the past two or three weeks, talking to them, telling them, okay, don't worry, we're gonna get through it. And when we finally cross that final hurdle or that final hearing, and they see it crystallize before their eyes, and they see uh, whatever you have promised them coming to fruition, that feeling is fantastic. That's amazing, and nothing can replace it. What's important is when clients come in, we have to give them the assurance that when they leave matters in our hands, they're leaving in good hands. 
and uh, for that I think it would require a lot of hard work on our part and uh, I think we can undertake to say that you know uh, Mr. Rahman himself is very meticulous with, with his work and so he has this mindset being imbued in all of us. So okay, the, the clients need to know that we are professional, we are extremely reliable and they can always depend on us to help them in whatever areas of law that they require help in. I want anyone who's thinking of appointing us to know that we mean business. We want to solve your issues and we want to do it well and we are going to need you to come and play along with us. Settling any matter involves both of us handling it together. The client needs to feed us with the necessary information, with the uh, background info, with the relevant instructions so that we can take it forward well, we can take it forward best. We also need clients who can work with us in understanding our direction. We have uh, the benefit of experience, we have the benefit of hand having handled similar matters and we enjoy it when clients accept our feedback, clients take in what we have to share with them so that we can work together and in a manner in which we are confident that we can deliver the best possible outcome for the client. Rawan um, actually places a very high importance in community service. He gets everyone in the firm involved in any program that involves in giving back to the society. Every Ramadan, we actually go around to distribute food to the less fortunate. We have breakfast sessions at the orphanages. And this year, he actually sponsored quite a lot of families um, groceries by giving them vouchers to the supermarkets. Raman also does a lot of pro bono work as well as um, accepting files from Legal Aid. The Legal Aid Bureau actually recognizes this and they are very, they are very grateful to Raman for always uh, accepting the files. Well, I think um, we've had a good run so far in the firm. And I think in any business, it's very important to not just have, have a one-way street inward, it's very important to give out as well. And it's been great because uh, we've had uh, fantastic opportunities to give back and we are actually thinking of ramping this up in the years to come. Uh, ARLC is a Muslim law firm. Uh, it encourages uh, the uh, the team to to practice the Islamic way of life, and I like the fact that I do not miss any of the obligatory prayers, and I feel the freedom and the non awkwardness to to, to be a normal uh, practicing Muslim. Uh, uh, I think having God in my heart is the one thing that has helped me uh, go through everything that we've gone through and I constantly seek his guidance as to how we're going to grow next. I hope he gives us the strength to grow as a firm, as a, as a conduit for the community to get more access to justice, as a conduit for the community to be empowered with legal knowledge. And uh, I want for the firm to grow in that regard, more so towards the community, more so whether it's an individual, a company, but I want to grow in that area an area which I feel that many law firms shy away from. Uh, I mean, it's always easy to talk about doing high-level litigation, doing high-level Islamic finance, high-level corporate work, but who's going to take care of the man on the street? And we want to take care of the man on the street. We want to be able to grow in the area, and we hope that we can constantly uh, improve ourselves to handle that kind of work. <laughs>